Hello and welcome. This is a Frankie and Neo motorhome, integrated motorhome on a Mercedes base. This, I think, is a particularly nice vehicle. It costs 134,570 euros, but it does have a serious problem, which we will see. 687 centimeters long, 224 wide, 219. Put it on a four and a half ton basis if you wanted to, it's about three and a half ton basis. You're going to have a stack of payload anyway. And you can get four sleeping places out of this one uh, with an optional extra indeed. Uh, you can have the extra or non-extra of having two belted positions only, should you want. The extra is this, that up there you have that bed, which is uh, extra sleeping place, but and rather than have that, I'd have uh, cabinets all the way around. That might be easier or, or better, unless you don't want to sleep with the person you're sleeping with. Down here, we've got, you can see here, the double floor, got storage in the double floor, and not only that, but a lot of the technical infrastructure has been moved into the double floor. Up the front, fantastic panoramic views as you drive. Although it does have the, I would say, negative bit, you can see that this bit, sort of the wooden bits have been sort of tacked on, more or less. It doesn't match, which is, I think, a bit of a pity from a stylistic point of view. They've got rid of the door, or haven't put a door in this side. That pleases me, but most people won't be particularly happy about that. Mercedes chassis, and uh, one has the choice of the full sprinter range. Uh, obviously optional extras, so if you want a bigger engine or something, you'll have to pay for it. What you notice in here is this huge amount of space as you come in. And uh, also the flat floor from the front to the back, or as I've just done, the back to the front. Mo speaking about the double floor, you've got the technical infrastructure. There you've got the clean water, and there, down here, you'll find your grey water. Lots of, uh, so that gets that out of the way. In here, we find we've got a drawer, and this will also double as a wardrobe, should that be needed. There are some ladder, there, sorry, there is a ladder somewhere, don't know where. Kitchen, to my left, here we've got the fridge, and of course, kitchen, how comes with drawers. Although unfortunately, they've got, uh, haven't got any sides on them. Uh, two burners up there, uh, I, it's spaced far apart. Be better if it had a cover, but it hasn't. One large sink, very good. Just the job in a vehicle, in my opinion. Up here, we've got storage. And over here, the back, width-wise bed. Uh, this vehicle, 210 centimeters in length. The width-wise bed, and therefore, is going to be around 100, 100 oh, I can't remember, 195 or something, I think it is. I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, in the description, you will find more information. Look at the size of that wardrobe. Pretty good. So far, so good. Now, we've got the... Less good, good factor. Okay, the shower is enormous. It's marvelous. Look at all that. You could, you could go on a crunchy bar diet, and you'd still be able to fit into the shower. Uh, but I even close the door as well. So uh, if anybody be wondering where the noise is coming from, there's me in here. Look at all this space we've got here. Um, all right, toilet down there. This is the bad bit. Look at this. I wonder if it's going to work or not. You, there's a, you push it in and out. So that's okay. That's come out. Okay. This time it worked. Good. Let's try. Let's hope this works. And it worked. The whole thing worked. Okay. That's good. But often it doesn't. Let's push this one back. Oh. Stay. Yes, it did stay. I'm leaving the toilet out there because after after three have worked for me, I'm not going to risk the fourth one not uh, working. Uh, the uh, mirror here with, uh, um, I think that's great. That's, that's really good. The bad point is it's that toilet. Anyway, you've seen it now and it worked. So uh, let's just, let's just get out of here before something breaks. 
Uh, we've got um, lots of uh, electric points. More information about these things, incidentally, is in the description. And uh, USBs up there. You've got also the charging from up there on that ledge. And the one up there, you can sort of sleep in either direction. There you have, well, I'll just take you outside and show you what I think is uh, particularly good as well. We've got this enormous garage. You've got a door there. I'm not going to open it because this one here is open. That is pretty good. Right, so uh, that's a quick look around this vehicle. If anybody from Frankie is watching this, got a little more storage there, and they would like to give me one, uh, my, uh, you can find me uh, quite easily. But for the moment, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it interesting, and all the best from me in Germany.